everyone, it's Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys over on my YouTube community page what you guys would like to see and a grocery haul was the top voted request <laughs> um, on the poll. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what our grocery haul is for the week and how I incorporate our cash budget into this using Walmart grocery pickup. So yes, we do use a card to do the order online, but I have a grocery envelope that I use to go ahead and set aside to deposit it into our bank account so that we can be covered and using that, that cash budgeting method. So one of the biggest things that we struggle with in our budget that we have gone over budget quite a few times, I'm sorry, I'm guilty. I'm a budgeter, but I still have those moments of impulse buys and food is probably the number one uh, category in anyone's budget that you can go over budget. You can overspend, whether it be buying all bunch of things at the grocery store that you actually don't need or going out to eat too often. And so we found ourselves going the route of going out to eat too often. And it's truly because we failed to plan. And what we're working on for this month, the month of May, is doing something called meal prepping. And you all may have read about it online and other people's YouTube videos, but that's something that we are incorporating now with our whole plan and saving money for food specifically. So we went through it the first week. It was a success. Uh, we only planned for our meal prep for three days and the last two days we did okay. I'm gonna be honest, it was all right. Uh, but we ended up going out to eat anyways. So we have to do a little bit better on that. So I'm gonna show you what our grocery haul is for this week of meal prepping. I'm not gonna show you the recipes or anything, but you're gonna get an overview of what all of this costs and how much each of the categories for pet groceries and for home was. So let's get into it. Did the Walmart grocery pickup. My husband actually went to the store and he picked it up and it is so convenient. We've been using it for a long time, um, even before quarantine and all of this going on in the world. We had always used it. You can get a coupon code, check the link in the description box to be gifted. I think it's like $10 off. So go ahead and check that out. But this is what our grocery haul looked like. It's not a lot, but we honestly, we don't need a whole lot because you got to shop from your pantry and your home first before you go out and you buy the stuff. Because most times we end up buying like duplicates of something that you already have in the pantry that was like in the back. So do an inventory and you'll be good. So we are, we have our meal plan um, and we are actually using, let me show you. I want to use recipes from this recipe book by Joanna Gaines, love her. Um, and we are gonna cook some of her recipes this week. But we got some cream cheese, sour cream. These are like one of the things that you should always have on hand, I feel. I don't know, you can always make a bunch of things with this. Some whipping cream, white onions, uh, we have some lime, limes here, Velveeta cheese, uh, panko breadcrumbs. We have some corn muffin mix, and we needed some seasoning because some of the recipes called for this ground white pepper and we didn't have any, and we needed some black pepper as well, so I went and I got that. Um, parchment paper, chicken broth, um, we needed some of these zipper bags, so we got that. Eggs and milk for my husband. That's my husband's milk, by the way, because he drinks milk like every night. Strawberry milk, yes, it's a thing. Um, we got some cheese, mozzarella, um, sharp cheddar cheese. This is great for like uh, mac and cheese. We have some chicken breast tenderloins. Ten I said that weird, tenderloins. Um, we got some bacon. This is the food that we get for our dogs. Um, so this is coming out of our pet envelope. So we got a big thing of that. Um, they substituted this. Um, I wanted the, like a different, the Walmart brand, but they just replaced it with this. They never give you something that's more expensive than what you selected. 
So that's just something to keep in mind if you're, you know, not sure of doing the Walmart pickup. Um, we got some bread. This is really good bread. We, we like it a lot. Um, some Thomas English muffins. One of the recipes called for this and yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how well that comes out. And then some of this rust, is it russet? Russet potatoes. Uh, for scallop potatoes, that's one of the one of the meals we're gonna have, or one of the side dishes, is with that. So this is our overhaul of our grocery haul. So we did pretty good. Um, I think it was seventy eight dollars from what I saw in the notification from Walmart. Um, so they send you an email receipt. It was seventy eight dollars. I put it up on the screen here so that you guys can see what it looks like, but. Total cost was $78 and like 66 cents. Um, and this is how I am taking it out of the wallet because I think that a lot of people have a question like, well, if you do Walmart grocery pickup or an, a delivery using Instacart or whatnot, how is it that you can incorporate a cash budget in the midst of that? So. This is how we do it. Let me flip the camera so that you guys can see on the table. This is my conscious wallet. You all have seen it a bunch of times. Let me do this with one hand. Okay, so I have all of my envelopes laid out accordingly. So we're clearly gonna take the majority of this from grocery. On the side, I'm gonna show you how much our uh, pet food costs. It's usually like $12 and some change. So we round it up to about $13. So we're gonna take $13 from our pet envelope. So this is our pet envelope. And there is, God, what is my handwriting? 47? What's 60 minus 13? <laughs> Is that 47? Oh my gosh, I need to work on that. That is 47, okay. We have $47 in our pet envelope. So I just, I'm gonna deduct $13 from here, take $13 out of here, and just set it aside so that that can be deposited in our bank account. The same thing with our groceries. So this is our grocery envelope. There's currently a balance of $66. So I know that not all of that money from that receipt was from grocery. It was not. That was from pet as well. So we're going to take what is remaining here. And this is just for the week of what our grocery haul was. We're going to take the funds from here of what that total is from the receipt. And I'll put the number right here on the screen so that you guys know how much I'm gonna take from the grocery to put into the bank account. So that is it. That is how I do my grocery um, haul and using my cash envelopes. It's pretty simple. I know some people can be a little too focused on just using physical cash going into the grocery store, but I personally, I don't like going grocery shopping. I don't enjoy it. It's not something, I don't like shopping. I don't like going into the store. Sometimes I do. So doing this whole online pickup, I can still budget accordingly is so helpful. So I encourage you to use the technology that we have available. Now, if you don't feel comfortable using technology and you like going to the store and you like picking out your produce and looking at it, by all means, do whatever you feel is comfortable and whatever you like to do. This is just something that we found um, to be able to save on our grocery bill because you can actually see how much an item costs. And now if you want to go maybe to a farmer's market to get your veg your vegetables or a meat market to get your meat, well, you can do that. But Walmart, I think, is really affordable. Um, it's located like everywhere. Everywhere has a Walmart um, and they all pretty much do this grocery pickup. So I encourage you to just try it out. Get your $10 off try it out and let me know what you guys think. But if there's any other videos or any other tips that you have for me on how we can possibly save on our grocery bill, then let me know in the comments. I'd love to connect with you guys. And I just, I hope that you found this like entertaining and just helpful on how I utilize Walmart grocery pickup and how we do the cash budget together. 
So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in a brand new video. Bye guys.